Guess what? It's April and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hi Aquarius, welcome to April. So we are going to look at what April looks like for you socially and emotionally. We're going to look at um, your career and your money for April. And then I'm also going to look at love, whether you're single, coupled, or in an undefined relationship, which would mean like polyamorous relationships. Uh, maybe you're seeing somebody who's married. Maybe it's not Facebook official. Maybe you just met. Maybe you're talking to somebody. Maybe it's on again, off again, that kind of thing. And then at the end of that, I'll give you an affirmation. But you, I mean, people are like, eh, affirmations, who gives a shit? But sometimes you want to give a shit because um, it might offer some extra insight and sometimes I pull extra cards on it and that's for everyone at the end. Um, I'm not including this month your lucky days nor the crystal of the month um, the reason why is because I had lost my voice as you can hear it's not um, the way it usually is so I want to try to preserve it a little bit therefore I'm going to send that out in an email so if you're not on my email list you probably want to be just because um, I only send one email mo a month it's not like Target that sends like five a day and um, that's how if you're on the list then you're signed up to win the free 20 minute video reading that I give away every month so let's get started okay socially what's up for you in April they're like it's time to change things for the better now um, it might be painful you know might you might be moving on from certain friendships and therefore creating space for new friendships or maybe a lot of relationships in your life are changing but they're like this is going to bring greater emotional stability for you and this is actually going to make you seem more desirable so maybe you have a friend in your circle and you know like they say that people assume that you are just like the people you know the five people you hang around most and maybe they have a certain reputation that you don't want um, to have for yourself, but people are going to assume that about you if you hang out with them, right? So you kind of distance yourself and you go hang out with the people that you want to become like, then, uh, then this works in your favor. Um, but they're saying, you know, you might not be feeling a million percent amazing about that because it's hard to let go. But this is actually a good thing. Emotionally for April, they're like, you know, this is like a little bit painful. And maybe you're not even the one who decided to move on from like a friendship or a social situation. Or, you know, maybe it's not even about that. It might even be that um, due to time constraints, you have to quit your bowling league or something like that. And it's like painful and it sucks a little bit. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is actually going to create new awesome opportunities for you moving forward. And so they're like, remember you get a choice. Um how you don't always get to choose what happens to you, but you get to choose your reaction to it. And basically they're like, you can choose to see this as a positive thing. They're saying um, that with this one, it's going to just kind of move you forward in a good direction. It is for the best. So try to remember that as you go through it. Now in regards to your career in April, they're saying here's a lot of other changes too. And maybe that's part of it. Maybe for some of you, it's um, leaving a job or you know changing departments or uh, something like that and therefore you know you your friends are your colleagues and so you might be a little bit worried about something like that I don't get to see them every day now like they're uh, inside jokes like I'm on the outside kind of a thing but this is actually a really good thing for you but you can expect positive changes as well um, in the workplace or in career but sometimes these things like I said might not feel real awesome um, it might be, for example, that you you get laid off and you're like, wow, that really sucks. But then you find a position somewhere else during that period. You start looking for a different job and it's like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I never would have found this had this other thing not happened, right? It's like a catalyst. Um, but they're saying for the majority of you, it's nothing so dramatic as that. It's about um, things being out of balance. So... You know, maybe you start messing up at work because you're working so many hours and you hardly sleep. So you get reprimanded, right? But then it forces you to take that work-life balance a little bit more seriously and go to bed on time or, you know, whatever. Uh, what else? They're saying... Uh, you might be lying to yourself about how big of a problem like this imbalance is in your life pertaining to career. For most of you, it's going to be work-life balance. Um, but for some of you, it's just going to be like maybe you're not paid 
for the amount of effort you put in, you know, or maybe you're not putting in enough effort and you're reaping a lot of reward. Or it could even be something like um, you're salaried, so you work many more hours than is healthy. You know, it's it could be so many different things. <laughs> it could be, you know, you have too much responsibility, but basically changes are going to come. And if you don't choose them, they will be forced upon you and it might not feel good, but they are for the better. And so they're saying, you know, it's only going to lead to greater opportunities for you for more stability in your life and probably even more wealth. So I wouldn't be afraid of change at all this month. Now, in regards to your money, they're saying like, uh, your intuition isn't super amazing in regards to money this month. So if you were like, hey, you know what? My goal for April is to pick a fund, uh, like pick a pick a stock and dump a bunch of money into it and just see how that goes. Mm, not the month. Let's try that a different time. Maybe May, maybe June, not April. Um, also not a great month for gambling. So they're saying um, this is a good month to save. If something seems like... You know, not if, if it's not a sure bet, don't do it. If it's not something you've done before, it can wait until May or June to reassess because your intuition isn't right. You know, you could walk into a home and say, oh, you know what? I feel like this is going to be a good investment property. I, you know, I'm going to dump all of my life savings into here. I'm going to spruce it up and rent it out and then sell it for a profit. Your intuition is wrong this month for most of you. It's not very strong. And, you know, maybe the inspector doesn't notice something that's hidden behind the walls that is a big, big problem that makes your property complete garbage, like a teardown. So you want to be very careful with your money this month because um, you can't really trust your instincts so well. Okay, so for those of you who are single, what they're saying is that you might be a little bit defensive this month. You might be pushing away potential love opportunities, and you might not be doing that intentionally. It could just be a vibe that you're putting out there. Um, so, for example, uh, a way that a lot of people do this and they don't even realize is they say, okay, I want a partner. I want to be married again because they're like divorced or something, right? And I want to have more children. But then they go around saying, I'm a single mom. I'm a single mom. Do you see that if you are identifying who you are is a single mom, you are not in alignment and therefore compatible for the universe to hand you a husband because you've said, I am single. Does that make sense? So then therefore you remain single because your energy is resisting what they're trying to give you. So on the one hand, you're saying, this is what I want, bring it to me. And then on the other hand, you're like, nope, 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 I'm single. So those are things you wanna think about. You might be doing this accidentally. Um, for your specific blocks, because this is for a general reading, it's hard for me to say, cause you know, there's a bunch of Aquarians. That might be something better figured out in a personal reading, but um, some of you have something that you're energetically pushing away as far as opportunities go. For some of you, this is um, actually a good thing though, because in this current moment of time, it's like helping you kind of wrap up the final details of like whatever kind of relationship you have left in the past or like a crush that you had or even a mindset and you're going, okay, um, that worked for me for a while, but now I'm ready to move forward in search of something better. And so it's like, okay, you know what, this relationship from before, you know, like the breakup, I had some hard feelings for a while, but now um, I can still care about them. I can still wish for their well-being, but now I'm going to move forward and find something that works for me a little bit better. Or even that mindset, you know, of like single mom. That's another example. Like that worked for me for a long time. That taught me a lot of independence. That taught me about my own strength and my own capabilities, like that I could hold down the fort and do all these things. It taught me girl power. But now I can move on from that mindset. Okay. Now, for those of you who are coupled, 
In April, they're saying, shift your perspective. Try to see things from a different lens and kind of understand that the details are really not that important. So when it comes to conversations and like, you know, situations with your partner, you're going to want to try to be super empathetic and see things from their point of view, but not even just their point of view, from other points of view as well. Um, try not to get stuck on specific details. You want to be doing more big picture thinking in order to um, maintain a good relationship or to grow your relationship. They're saying like, this is a way that you show your partner nurturing and it's actually super sexy to them. They want to be around you more um, when you see things that way and it could create really awesome opportunities for you. And so like if you're in a relationship where you don't yet live together or um, maybe you live together but you have not gotten married, if you want to take things to the next level, maybe you are married and you live together but you want to buy your own house, like, you know, whatever. As far as like progress goals and like couple goals, um, hashtag relationship goals, right? Uh, this is going to help you achieve those and acquire those much, much quicker by being able to do that, okay? Now, in regards to those of you in undefined relationships, which could be like a polyamorous relationship, this could be a on-again, off-again relationship, this could be somebody you just met, they're saying... Um, you know, you're almost sitting here going, okay, based on the past, based on the lessons that I've learned and things like that, things I've observed or witnessed in my personal life or in the lives of my friends or family, um, you know, I, these are the things that I'm kind of expecting. And so I'm going to kind of try to protect myself. But you're actually not really protecting yourself because a lot of the things that we worry about never actually happen. What you're doing is blocking opportunity. You're blocking love from flowing into you, in, into your life, you know. So maybe you want to have a better, um, more loving relationship than you do. Maybe you want more romance. Um, and it's like the universe is trying to give that to you. Maybe this person that you're focused on, maybe a crush or something, they're trying to to give you that, but you don't even notice, you don't even see. And even if you were to open your eyes, you still wouldn't see because mentally you're confused because you have some sort of fucked up mindset about um, the way that things work or what happens in life. Like, well, what if this? What if this? Well, what if you can't prevent that stuff? What if something really awesome happens? So you want to try to work on that because there's a lot of love for you this month. It's just like, you're not going to notice it unless you shift that. And so what they're saying is kind of like the couples, you know, it's interesting that sometimes the undefined relationships take a little piece of the singles, take a little piece of the couples, and sometimes it has nothing to do with either. This time it is taking a little piece from each, and it's saying, you know, there could be a lot of bickering, arguing, misunderstandings, things like that. If you don't focus on the long term, you don't want to get caught up in the details either. Um, it's like, what do we have in common? What do we both want? And it doesn't really matter about the in-between. Okay. Now, um, it's saying, you know, you might not be doing enough self-love and self-care this month. So you might be one of those people who is putting way too much time into work and things like that, that has like a really, um, a, a, significant imbalance this month. And they're saying, you know, that's another piece of this puzzle too. If you want to feel really loved, um, spoiled, cherished, cared about, you have to care about yourself first and foremost. And then you'll be able to see or notice and receive love from other people. Now, as far as affirmations go for all Aquarians, it says, water is my favorite beverage. I'm going to drink lots of water to cleanse my body and my mind. And this makes total sense because water does kind of pick up on all of these like stagnant things that we're working through. And in the time of like transition and change, like it sounds like most Aquarians are going to kind of go through this month. That's important because we want to flush those energies out in order to create new, right? To have the space available that is clean and open and bright for new wonderful things to flow in. Um, you have a little bit of stagnant energy, so we want to like push that away and welcome it all back. Like all these new awesome things back. So that is April and I can't wait to see how you've progressed in May. 
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!